Welcome to EM Shorts, where emergency managers from around the world share their ideas. Hey y'all, my name is Barbara Payne, and in addition to working for FEMA and being an emergency management specialist, I also have a pro bono consulting firm for resiliency actors called Reimagine Resiliency. And Reimagine Resiliency has been for the last few months and during this COVID response has come up with an idea about continuity that maybe needs to be revisited. Because right now when you're thinking about continuity plans, um, you think about business continuity. What happens when a business has to get back to work and what that looks like? Totally different from an emergency management plan or an operations plan, continuity is getting back to business. And what we saw during this pandemic was a lot of people losing their jobs. And so how can you have continuity in a business when you're relying on the business to stay in business, right? So instead, what we need to start focusing on is called BA continuity, business and home continuity, because you need to have both. If you aren't in charge of a continuity plan at your business or workplace, you need to have a makeshift one in place for if something like this happens again, because it probably will. A home continuity plan also is something you need to have in place too. What if you lose your job? What's your home continuity plan going to look like and how is it going to be affected? So instead of separating the concept of business continuity and home continuity, what I am suggesting is BA continuity, business and home continuity. You have to have both, whether you're in charge of both plans or you're just a part of both plans. Without utilizing both plans, you will never be able to respond and recover from a disaster any better unless you have continuity.